This video shows how to load a table, a uh, plane, a small table uh, with a simple uh, code example into a drop down list. That's what you see here. That's my drop down or combo list. And I want to show you the effect there and how to select that stuff. So, first we go to the code. Uh, in my, that's my code example and in my code example I have a SQL server data table and there is a table a simple table with uh, base values so we have here a table where there are three values uh, three rows in there and I want the simplest way to load uh, those uh, base values into my table so the easiest way for this is when you use entity framework uh, the entity framework is here uh, connected that stuff into my entity framework into my WPF or UWP application Windows application and then on my front side I dropped in here a uh, combo box that's my combo box simply take a tag combo box I gave it a name combo box revision grund and then uh, I said here um, that's we don't need this one then I'm loaded I will load it uh, in the background uh, at the code behind so you need front and the front side simply combo box and the name and then I said at the at runtime at when I load this uh, page or this form um, then I say list give me a list with the data table which is in uh, from my which is given from my database so this is my TBL it's IntelliSense and this IntelliSense works because I dropped the data table into my entity framework so I simply have to take the data table I say okay give me a list of this uh, uh, structure or table table definition which is called my data and then I say my data table or my data database connection that's the database connect uh, context and there they take this entire table and uh, convert it to a list that's with one line no selection, no where, no anything else. And then I say <coughs> load this stuff into my combo box to the item source. Give it a member path. The member path is um, the value what uh, the text what we see there. So when we have here our <coughs> table, then I want uh, to see this uh, this column and the member uh, member value is the column which we see and on the other side I want the ID the ID field uh, as a postback or as the value so I say the selected value path is the ID field and this is the display member path is my field uh, and it's written in a in apostrophe so it's a, a string value and I say okay run that stuff and now we will run stuff is starting and now when I say load that form at the point when I load it I you will see there now this is my data when we take um, when we take a look on the watch of this data then we see that it has three values those three rows and inside the row there's the entire structure at runtime there we see this is my revision point revision grund display member path that's we load the entire structure the table in the in there as a list and we say display give me the display is this one and the ID revision the ID field and then go on 
So this is at start, when I start that point and now I select a value and I've written here um, this field and then whenever the selection changed then I say okay give me the value and now I have this is the box itself and as you see there um, shift F9 then we have here this is our field or control and somewhere there we find selected value there's selected value path and that's the path and that's the selected value because this is I bound I said give me the value back of this uh, field and then you also have the selected index which means okay this is the first element which we have uh, uh, selected it starts at zero so you see you may say okay uh, which value was given so this is the selected ID is 2 and you will find the code on my website so what I wanted to show you this is the easiest way to get a table to load a table into a into a combo box in WPF and Windows applications